Welcome to Beyond the Press channel and stupid grinder tools that shouldn't exist. Today's episode is all about hammers. <laughs> this is one of the most requested things. Please add that some hammers there. Oops, wrong direction. And we add that scene. And this video is sponsored by NordVPN. By using my link down in description, you are going to get huge discount on four year plan, additional gift and four months for free. But more about that later. And as most recommenders want, these are like with one screw here. I'm going to loosen up these before the test. So they are like free swinging hammers. So when it hits, it goes like here. And then maybe on the, after a couple rounds, it's going to hit again. And into the points, how dangerous is this? Hmm. I would say that again, it's so heavy and with so much mass around here that the energy is huge. And if you switch this on with full power, it's going to get out of your hand and you're going to get hit. But these are not sharp at all. So probably just bad bruises. So not deadly, but definitely dangerous. I'm going to give only two points, only two points. You are going to learn with this tool. <laughs> And then usability points. Hard to see any use for this. I'm going to give two. Maybe it's more usable than we thought. And then comedy points. I'm going to give five out of five. And I'm going to not going to test it like this, of course, as usual. We have this safety precaution. This is like taped up so you don't accidentally switch this on. We are going to throw it into safety box so the hammers cannot fly out from the windows or hurt anybody. And if you don't have your own safety box and you are not expert in machine safety, don't try this at home. We do this here so you don't have to. But let's loosen up the hammers and throw this into the box and have a look how it goes. You have a made excellent choice when buying the uh, power hammer 5 million. Here is your uh, instruction how to maintain this. It's important to lubricate the hammers every uh, 100 hours of hammering. You can just apply regular machine oil here and that keeps the hammers swinging nicely. Yeah, but uh, uh, this feels way more dangerous now. I can't wait to see how bad it looks when it spins. Okay, we are ready, or as ready as you can be for this. And prediction time. What's going to happen when we flip the switch? Uh, I think it's going to look very nice. <laughs> Is it going to spin and not destroy itself? Uh, yes. I also believe that it's going to survive the first test. Oh. This is like speed of this type of grinder. It's on pretty low speed at the moment. I'm not sure if the power enough. The start was pretty slow, but uh, it seems to spin quite long when you get it going. So let's put, I think we have to try first like hammer and nail mm. or hammers and nail on this. Is it one or many hammers? I think it's just one hammer with like multiple heads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's try to hammer some nail. Yeah. Okay, here is the plan. Thing is spinning, hammer is landing, nail is driven, like this. This is a four-stroke hammer. It, like four strokes per revolution, <laughs> it works like that. Two-stroke hammers are also available, but they are less advanced. Mm. And Hanna wasn't very like optimistic when I said that here it comes and there it lands and Hanna just laughed. Yeah. But what I, did go wrong? What did go wrong? I have strong belief that this is going to work. Okay, this is the uh, biggest risk for human employment this year. Chat CPT doesn't take so many jobs as this. <laughs> you need only one worker instead of four mm. if this works. So there is a lot of there's like future of humanity on the line. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> it just works. It's just like small amount of like reef, like some some future work is still ahead, <laughs> but clearly promising concept. I think we have to move the thing slightly, slightly mm. towards the hammers, and then it's going to finish the job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, then we have rat with a long furry tail that lives on trees. Can you, Hanna, try to? Say its name. Squirrel. That's pretty cool. Timo says that in Swedish it's uh, en kurre. I'm not sure is it, is it true. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, but kurre I, uh, is going to have bad day. <laughs> Yeah, but before we continue, short ice swimming break, and while I'm here, it's good opportunity to talk about today's sponsor, NordVPN. Sometimes the best form of entertainment are a bit hard to reach, and on some TV series there might be geoblocking, preventing you from accessing the uh, fun. A bit like the ice here, but luckily with NordVPN you can uh, go around the geoblocking, by locating your IP address on a different country. And uh, also if you are uh, doing something that you wanna hide from other people, you can crypt your data simply by using NordVPN. Just one push of button and your data is encrypted and nobody is able to find out what you are doing and where even on like public VLANs and stuff like that. And since NordVPN is celebrating their 11th birthday this month, they have special birthday deal for you. By using my link, you are going to get huge discount on two year plan, additional gift and four extra months for free. And during the birthday sale, you can win up to one additional year of free NordVPN service. You get this offer only using my link down in description. So go check it out. And if you don't like the product for some reason, there is always 30 day money back guarantee. So no risk on trying it out. Okay, we have covered two of the main uses for hammers, nails and pest control. <laughs> And now third use case, forging. And uh, we are not able to get red hot steel there, so we are going to try with copper piece. I think it's much harder than red hot steel, but we can like test the main principle still. This is going to be probably slightly loud, so good that we don't have any hearing <laughs> problems. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if it's doing much of work. <laughs> but it's clearly working. Yeah, it doesn't get tired at all. Mm. It didn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise. We did some troubleshooting and we found out that we need more power. So we add some. So uh, let's see. Come on. Okay, seems that it's a lot more angry now. Oh, 
Okay, let's have a look on the high speed. Was it uh, proper hammering this time? Hey, now it's like you have to like uh, adjust the power in a way that the hammer has enough time to return after each round. And now it lands spot on on the copper. So our work here is done. <laughs> These are ready for sale. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure about the safety aspect still. <laughs> I think this is uh, far more uh, funnier than we thought. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I have to say that it works much better than I thought. Yeah. And thanks for all the great ideas that we have gotten from you. It's been a bit slow to get videos out. I have so much to do with my press channel. But uh, we are slowly throwing these out and I have also Frozen Lake Mayhem coming out soon. So subscribe to the channel to see that. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.